This week on The Wire, housing shortfall forecasted, new listings rise over February, and official interest rate stays on hold. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. You can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking us off this week with our top story, housing shortfall forecasted. So the federal government's home builder scheme may have led to a flurry of construction, but a new report reveals a potential supply shortfall of more than 160,000 houses in the next de decade. Now the National Housing, Finance and Investment Corporation reports there's difficulties in accessing new land and increased demand as a result of the growing economy and net overseas migration means demand is rapidly outpacing supply. It says state governments need to boost housing supply and identifies particular constraints in Sydney and southeast Queensland. Now the report says between 2025 and 2032, Australia will find itself 163,400 homes short of demand with supplies expected to fall by a third in four years from 2023. Now National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation Chief Executive Nathan Dalbon says it had been a remarkable 18 months for Australia's housing markets with the largest population shock in a century. Unprecedented government stimulus, a widespread flight to the regions and with accelerated house price growth and tightening rental markets impacting housing affordability. Now guys, for our next story. New listings rise over February. So property listings are on the increase with SQM research figures showing a 6.8% lift in the number of properties for sale. Now nationally, residential property listings hit 214,500 in February, up from two, just over 200,000 in January. Now new listings in February rose the most in Canberra, up by 86%. By, uh, which was followed by Sydney, which was up 81%. But new listings in February were only slightly higher than February 2021. And the figures show the number of properties sitting on the market for more than 180 days dropped by 0.6% in February and 48% on the same time last year. Now nationally new listings, which is listings less than 30 days old, increased 62% in February 2022 to almost 80,000 properties on the market, which is up 4.3% over the year. Now the increase in listings has done little to dampen price growth with asking prices up 1.8% for houses and 3.6% for units in February, SQM says. Now in the past 12 months, asking prices for houses have increased 22.5% and units 13.6%. Now guys, time for our final story of the week. Official interest rate stays on hold. So despite constant media speculation of a rise, the Reserve Bank of Australia has kept the official cash rate on hold at 0.1% for another month. Now David Zammett of Mortgage Choice says although there was not enough wage growth to support a rise in March, strong economic conditions suggest there is potential for an interest rate rise later in the year. Now some banks have already started to increase fixed rates independently. And Zammett says Mortgage Choice monthly home loan approval data reveals demand for fixed rate mortgages dropped to its lowest level in five months in February with only 26% of borrowers opting to fix part or all of their mortgage compared to 43% in September 2021. Now, Australian National University economics professor Warwick McKibben had expected several rate rises this year, but says that was before the war started in Ukraine. I think the RBA will now sit on their hands longer than they otherwise would, McKibben says. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.